Hello, I am Pete and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, the series we're currently calling Recharger Weapons Only, though this is potentially open to change. Here we are still in Good Springs. We completed some business here in the previous episode. There is a tiny little bit more looting that I want to do around Good Springs, but at the moment I'm worried about inventory capacity. So I'm going to I'm going to move on and come back later. Now, uh, one thing before I move on, I have installed a new mod. I've installed Weapon Mods Expanded, just because I think adding some more mod options to this gun might be interesting. I've also noticed that I do have some we weapon repair kits. So I'm going to take one of them now, just to... In fact, I'm going to take two of them now, just to make this... Yeah, that'll do. Just to make this weapon a little bit stronger. So, in this episode, we're going to be heading towards Prim. We've got the correct quest active. Uh, Gene's skydiving takes us most... Well, not most, some. Some of the way there. So let's fast travel to Gene's skydiving and move on from here. And there is a weapon repair kit inside there, but well, as I say, worried about inventory space at the moment. So let's keep on moving. Now it's strange. It's strange to be heading straight towards Prim. Normally I'd go up to Lone Wolf Radio to pick up some sensor modules so that I can activate Eddie when the time comes. But for this playthrough, I am not allowed to use any companions. So there's going to be no Eddie. No Eddie whatsoever. Strange. Very strange. That's also strange. I think generally we're quite safe along this road. There might be a gecko or two. Nothing I can't deal with. Our water situation is also starting to become a bit of a thing. But, um... Don't know. We'll deal with that later. I think this gecko we can probably... Is that one coming for me? Hidden. Yes, this is a scripted gecko, I believe. Won't attack me? It's detected me, but it doesn't seem to be planning on attacking me. Well, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to crit its head right off. Let's move faster. Still hidden. Good. I'll do some little sprint and crouch, sprint and crouch. I did briefly see a red mark over there. Hmm. Why is Victor now showing up in red? Has Victor turned hostile? That makes no sense at all. Some rad roaching over there. Ah, the rad roach fights against the gecko. Oh, now I'm in danger. Okay, so I do need to deal with this gecko. That isn't doing as much damage as I hoped it would. Wait for it to recharge. Jobs are good. Back to hidden. Ah, Victor goes red every time I'm crouched. I'm not quite sure how that mod is supposed to work. I'm sure there's method. Alright, so we will shortly be accosted by a representative of the NCR. Come on. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Now I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. I'm going to sort out your problems for you, mate. And then you'll show some gratitude. All right, so here we go. This is going to be our first experiment with using the recharger rifle against human enemies. So far, we've only had to deal with geckos, so it's going to be interesting to see how things pan out here. Now, there's going to be some mines on this bridge. Hopefully we can deal with them without too much problem. Lovely. I think I might see if I've got some purified water. Yeah, let's have one of those. Well, that hasn't done as much good as I hoped it would. Unless it actually activates over time. Minus 72. What's my H2O stat at? Quite high. Okay. I'm going to need to find a, a tap or something at some point. 
So yeah, there's going to be a couple of enemies just around this corner here. But I will show them what's what. I hope. Let's drop a quick save just in case I'm totally incapable of doing that. Now, I, I do think that the recharger rifle should be up to the job here. Hopefully I can get the drop on them and get a, a critical. There's one slightly closer, isn't there? There. Down. Okay, he's down. Okay, this person's probably going to come for me. Lovely. That is pretty much how I wanted that to go. Okay, so we're going to take all of their everything. Leaving them completely... Oh my, look at me. I'm over-encumbered. Can I do anything about that? I can... Um, ten over, so I can repair these two things together, I think. And weapons... Not much going on in there. Okay, I can put two tire irons together. Perfect. Okay. So, step number one, let's go into the Nash residence. Let's activate the Mojave Express drop box. And now we're going to ship some excess stuff to Good Springs. Basically, I think pretty much all of the weapons and probably some armors that we're not planning on using immediately. I have some miscellaneous. Yeah, fish and batteries, they're heavy. Uh, we'll also send all these things over. There we go. Nice. So that's all safely going to be kept in good springs for us. Very good. Uh, do you have anything good to loot? Just the Mojave Express delivery order. Let's head in here and talk to Johnson Nash. Feels so much better to have got rid of that excess burden. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Mm, I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Yeah, what can you tell me about this job? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Yeah, okay. I'm bored of talking about him. So, some men stole my package, a man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you've mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. All right, that will do for me for now. Goodbye. Don't go getting yourself shot. Right, I am just going to have a quick look around in this place in case there's somewhere where I can drink water for free. 
something bathroomy. Is there a tap back here? No. Is this where the bathrooms are? Doesn't look like it. There is some stuff just begging to be stolen, though. Excuse me, moi. Donde esta el baño? Si vous play, por favor. Maybe there are no bogs. That's a pretty poor turnout, if it is. Yep, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Well, maybe the Bison Steve Hotel will have better facilities. I don't know if I checked in here, actually. So I check in here for something drinkable? Let's have a quick peek. No, it looks like Johnson and Ruby Nash make do without any kind of water or bathing facilities as well. What kind of place are we talking about here? Okay, I'm just going to pop up here. I think there might be some loot. Yeah, we'll take that. We do need to look out for ammunition weight, though. I probably... Yeah, you know what? While I'm here, I should just go up to the drop box and just put all of the ammo in there as well. There we go. That drops our weight a little bit further. Now, why do I still have a quest over there? I suppose that's still an optional talk to Victor kind of thing. Yeah. No, I don't need to talk to Victor. I do have a want to be ready for a fight in here. Caution. Danger. Got you now. Let's zap you a little bit. And another one. Okay, I need to get into some cover while my recharger rifle recharges. Oh, they've run away as well. He's going for it. I worry that these lot might have explosives. What they do have is a total lack of brains. You're still alive there in the shadows. Nice. Okay. Let's just backtrack here and have a look at what we've got in terms of looting opportunities. Uh, locked hard. Easy terminal. I think we can science at this kind of level. There we go. Having zero out of seven on two words was very useful there. Let's disengage the lock. Let's head into this room. And let's see what's good in here. Not much over here. I'll turn the lights on just to help a little bit. Okay, here's some good stuff. These are all things I can sell. Take those. Do any of those do anything for our thirst? Barrel cactus fruit takes a little bit off the H2O, but not that much really. Can't get in there. Oh, there's this, oh, that's the same safe there, I think. Okay, turn the light back off. Let's press forward. We will loot their bodies down there at some point, but right now, let's, uh, let's deal with this room here. Mostly empties. I do recall there is some stuff back here, though caps and a floor safe hard bit of pre-war money on the floor and a skill book okay we're a long way off from getting into hard locked safes at the moment so that will have to wait okay deputy beagle is over there let's move towards these bodies and loot them no point really taking Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything interesting with them in this playthrough, but force of habit, you know? Okay, we'll take everything again. The Nuka Cola is free. I want to be really careful I don't go over encumbered here. 
Okay, we're still good. Right, I want to bring the fight to them. Hey! Oh. Okay, someone noticed. They're not coming over to investigate, though. Okay, maybe I can loot this person just around the corner. Oh. Someone right here. Found. Someone else is going to be coming soon, I'm sure. And that's me over encumbered. Yeah, I knew it would happen eventually. That's fine. I can repair these two together. All of these Merc outfits, they're all basically the same thing. Let's repair up some cleavers. Let's repair up some pistol. Some varmint rifle. Some tire iron. Who's there? Aha! He saw me. And now there's no more red marks. See, I was sure that there was going to be like a convict leader who was tougher than the rest. But it looks like we did pretty fine there. Nice one recharger rifle. You're proving yourself to be very worthy. As usual, I'll pick up all the cartons of cigarettes because they have a really nice... Oh, big spoon. Anybody there? Oh. Hello, you. I'm going right for your head. And he's Ash. There was some purified water there as well. I think if I don't get any... Oh, in fact, and also, if memory serves, there's a whole bunch of purified water in this little room here with Deputy Beagle. So let's see. Yeah, there's one, two, three. Another big spoon. Well, I've already got one big spoon. I don't need more than that, I don't think. Obviously, need is an interesting word. All right, Beagle, you'll 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 have a moment. Give me just a second. So over encumbered. What can I do about that? Ah, I can do more repairing back together of weapons again. And in the apparel department. More of that. That'll do. Hello, Beagle. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some Khans that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. My good lady... I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Hmm. Can I boost my speech by five? Stay put for now. No need to rush on my account. I lost feeling in my hands and legs hours ago. Oh, stop complaining. I'm just checking my clothes. Do I have anything that speech is plus five? There's a speech plus two there, but that's no good. I probably do have a meeting people, but this doesn't feel like a particularly useful use of it. Yeah, let's, it let's not so bother with the speech check. If you set me free. Can you tell me about the people who passed through town now? I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with my bonds, I'll be more than happy to tell you anything and everything about those cons. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Not that I really need his help, because we've already dealt with everyone, I believe. Um, so, is that a knife? It is. What a lovely little knife. Ooh, wonder glue. I'm going to take the Wonder Glue because it is a component of weapon repair kits and weapon repair kits is going to be pretty important to me in this playthrough. I'm going to just unpick this lock just for a little bit of bonus XP. And I think, I think we'll leave. Uh, there is another floor to this building which one can explore for more loot, but I think... I think I'm best off avoiding combat wherever I can. All right, we can talk now. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? 
breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay, that's useful. We can do that. There is another quest available in this town. Hello again. I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Um, yeah, what's the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I will help bring law and order back to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Lovely. Okay. Well, what I want to do is neither of those things. Uh, what do I want to do? I'd quite like... I'd quite like to have a bit of water somewhere. But we haven't found anywhere that's good for water. Maybe I'll need to fast travel back over to Good Springs. Maybe I can get water in the sheriff's house. Okay, there's a sheriff's house just over here. I'm going to see if I can get into that. I think there's probably a powder ganger up there somewhere. But this area seems to be pretty clear. Let's see about a tap in here. To be honest, it doesn't look like the kind of place that's going to have fresh water, but you never know. There's a sink. Okay, there's water, but it's a little bit radiaty. What happens if I take a sip? Okay, so that seems like I got quite a lot of hydration out of that. Yeah, that's down to 120. That's worth doing for the sake of five rads. Okay. Uh, is there any decent loot in here? Sheriff's Duster. I think there's a gun under here. I feel like I'm seeing a gun, but I can't focus it. There we go. Cowboy repeater. I can also share this bed with um, Mrs. McBain's corpse. So, well, I don't need sleep at the moment. I do want to sort out my weight, though. Ah, dear, I seem to have goofed up a little. Well, have I got anything miscellaneous that's not actually very valuable? Things like baseballs, egg timers, metal spoons. You know what, let's just drop this Merc Troublemaker outfit. That's more weight than it's worth. Bit of ammo. And more of the usual broadly useful things. Sending me back to over-encumbered. God, this, this no companions thing is proving mildly awkward. I'm going to need to get used to that. Let's drop this as well. That's not really got that much value, has it, in the grand nice scheme of things? All right, so I'm going to just sprint my way over to the Mojave Express building, do a bit more sending of stuff, and then I'm just going to head into the Vicky and Vance Casino, talk to Johnson Nash, see if there's anything that needs doing in there. The reason I'm holding on to all of this stuff, even though I've got no intention of using it, is I want to be able to sell sell and sell some more basically sort myself out to the point that when i arrive in novak i've hopefully got enough money to be able to trade well not money enough stuff to be able to trade in for a mf hyperbreeder alpha straight away that would be a dream outcome okay prim slim i want to talk to howdy partner welcome to the vicky and vance casino and museum Science 30, reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim's sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! 
Prim Slim is clearly the superior choice for Prim's new sheriff. Uh, goodbye. Happy trails, partner. I like the way I just come over and reprogram this robot and then run off again. Right, level three. What do we want to do here? Energy weapons, obviously, a big candidate for upgrading big time. I think I'd like to get survival up to 30 because then I can cook gecko steaks. That's going to be useful early game. I did narrowly miss out on a speech check by having 35 here rather than 40, but I'm not sure if there's any more 40 speeches coming up. Obviously, I will regret if it turns out that there is. Yeah, I, th I think let's, let's put the leftovers into energy weapons. Right, has Johnson Nash got anything interesting to say at this time? Where is he? I'm seeing Ruby Nash in here, but not Johnson. Maybe he's gone back to his house. Oh, there he is. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, youngster. Hats off to you. Yeah, uh, where can I get information on the man that shot me? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Not much use. Do you have anything for sale? Sure, have a look. So what I'm really hoping for is a weapon mod, but let's see what we've got. Nothing of use to me. Never mind. It would be very yeah, unlikely bye. for me to get a recharger rifle mod so soon. That's fine. Move along, please. Sorry. How awkward. Okay, so I think this is probably where we're going to end this episode. We've made some good progress making it to Prim here. The recharger rifle is holding up very nicely. What have we got in terms of active quest at the moment? Head to Novak through Nipton. So yeah, we'll need to head south and around and up to Novak. Well, that is going to be some fun stuff to happen in the next episode. What I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm just going to head back to Good Springs and do a little bit of looting. Now that we are able to use the Mojave Express drop boxes to send stuff, I'm not quite so worried about inventory capacity, so I can pick up all the things that I missed out before. I'll do that off camera because it's not terribly exciting, but I hope you will join me for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas, Recharger Weapons Only. Goodbye.